your time. That's your most valuable asset. That is number one. Forget the silver. Forget the gold. If you lose your money, you can always get more, even if you have to start from scratch. You can find $5 on the ground. You will never find five minutes. You could buy a watch, but you can't buy time. But when it comes to the silver and the gold, it's almost made me realize that it's somewhat of a way of buying my time back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also gold and how we can get more precious metals by cutting back on expenses and also how the precious metals can help us buy back our time. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, I don't wanna talk about the spot price of silver. I don't wanna review any particular coin, round, or bar. I don't wanna compare 90% silver to pure silver. I don't wanna do anything like that. I wanna talk about saving currency, ways to save currency, cutting back on expenses. That way we have more cash, more fiat left over so that we can get more silver. Now what actually inspired today's video was last night. It was four o'clock in the morning, I was still working and I put out a tweet when I woke up today and some of you may have seen it. I posted it on Twitter. I also posted it on Instagram. I also posted it right here on YouTube and now I'm gonna include it in this video. It says, don't let people who make excuses fool you. Going to sleep later and waking up earlier to get more done is doable. Removing distractions to stay focused and increase productivity is doable. Rejecting activities that cannibalize your time for short-lived thrills is doable. Now, yes, I am talking about time and saving time and making the most of your time in that tweet, but it got me thinking, how can I make a video? How can I have a conversation talking about making the most of your currency? And what's funny about currency is that your time is intertwined with it. How do we get our currency? How do we earn currency? We go to work every day and we sell our time. If you think about it, that's pretty much what we're doing. That's why we have an annual salary. That's why we have an hourly wage. It's because that's what our bosses tell us that an hour of our time or a year of our life is worth to them. If you think about it, I know it's a very weird, odd way of wording it, but I'm trying to paint a picture. But what we can do with the currency that we earn, the currency that we sell our time for, many of us are reckless spenders. Many of us burn through it as quickly as possible. Many of us don't wanna save. Many of us wanna live for today or live for Friday night and don't care about next week, next month, next year, five, 10, 15 years down the road. Many people don't care about the future. I personally do. I could not possibly care less about today. I care about next week, next month, next year, several years down the road. I'm trying to set myself up now. That way, maybe, hopefully, potentially, I'll have a little less to worry about later down the road. Now, I wanted to talk about this today, and I have a story that I always love to talk about. I'll make it very quick. It's something that I've done since 2019, which has been saving me hundreds of dollars every year. And I know it doesn't sound like very much, but a couple hundred dollars extra every single year, which you can then use to get some silver, get some gold, aka buying your time back, I'm all for it. So what I've been doing since 2019 is purifying my own water. And I'm not sponsored by any water purification unit company. I'm not being paid to say this. I'm not being told or instructed to say anything. This is just an example. This is just something that I've done and it actually worked out incredible for me. Now, the reason I got a water purification unit was simply to have cleaner, purified water and so I can kind of do it on my own. But the funny thing about that was that the 250, roughly $250 that I dropped on a water purification unit sounds like a lot of cash. It is a lot of cash, 250 bucks. 
I got a lot of family members saying, what are you doing? I thought you buy gallon jugs of water every week. Cost you $7 a week. Why don't you just keep doing that? And I told them, $7 a week, that's a dollar a day. By the time a year goes by, that's 365 bucks. I spent $250 on this thing right here, and I never have to buy another one. Of course, I got to replace the filters, but that's every couple years. The unit itself, about $250 at the time. I got it one day. 251 days later, I had already broken even. Not even a year had to go by for me to actually get to the point where, okay, now I'm officially saving. This was 2019. I went the rest of that year. I went all of 2020, and I've gone the first month and a half of 2021. I have not purchased a bottle of water, a gallon jug of water, a big case of water. I haven't purchased water since the middle of 2019. And I know it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it adds up over time. And that's just one example I can give. But what's funny is the money, or should I say the currency that I've been saving ever since I got that, $365 a year. Now at the time in 2019, that was about 20 troy ounces of silver. 365 bucks, give or take, roughly. Nowadays, it's closer to 12 troy ounces of silver, but still. That's 12 troy ounces of silver more every single year just by purifying my own water, which, by the way, is healthier and tastes a lot better. It's portable. I don't have to plug it into the wall. Again, I don't want this to be a commercial for my water purification system. I'm just using that as an example, but it goes hand in hand with pretty much everything. Being more self-reliant, doing things on your own rather than paying someone else to do it for you. Now I understand there are some luxuries. There are certain things that just make life easier. Sometimes your time is more important than your currency, so you want to give somebody else the currency to do it for you, maybe cutting the grass or, or whatever. Just an example. But things like that, something like that, those are the things that I love to do. There's nothing that I like spending my currency on more than things that will save me currency in the long run, not to mention make me a little bit more self-reliant. Because guess what? I did that in 2019. I didn't know 2020 was going to be such a disaster. I had no idea. But then 2020 happened and everything fell apart. March, April, May, June, people were fighting, punching each other in the face over cases of water. Guess who didn't have to worry about water? Sure, I had to worry about several other things, but I could scratch one thing off the list of things that I have to spend my currency on, things that I have to worry about, things that I need to prioritize because I already have it. The point I'm trying to get across is that self-discipline, I have found to be very, very rewarding. And just in the water purification aspect, I'm saving $365 every single year just by doing that my way. And with the currency that's left over, I can get me some silver, I can get me some gold if that's what I want to do. Some of the silver right here on screen. And by the way, in January, I was actually going to make a video. I never ended up doing it because I felt like people weren't going to be really interested in it. If anybody is interested, I can make the video. It was going to be a video talking about how much cash I saved just by getting cash back on my credit cards and being as strategic as possible with my credit cards. I know a lot of people aren't too into credit cards and this isn't necessarily a credit card channel, so I never ended up making the video, but I thought about it and if anybody's interested, I can absolutely make it happen. Talking about how much I saved just by using cash back credit cards and how much silver and gold I was able to get because of all that cash back that I saved. And trust me, it's not $20, $30, it's quite a bit of cash. Saved cash. Anything I can do to save cash, anything I can do to reduce my expenses or cut back on things that I need to buy, one of the biggest examples of things that I want to get into, something that I've been talking about for a while and I have not yet gotten started, I wanted to start somewhat of an indoor fruit and vegetable garden. We're mostly a vegetable garden, but tomatoes are technically fruits, even though I don't consider them fruits. If they're fruits, put them in a fruit salad, put them in a fruit smoothie. They're vegetables to me. But anyway, that's besides the point. I want to start growing my own fruits and vegetables, and it could be another thing that I can cross off the list of things that I need to physically go to the store and spend my cash on. A little bit cash left over, even if it's just $5, $10 a week saved, 
Because guess what? By the time a month goes by, who knows? Maybe that's 20 maybe that's $40 left over. And guess what? That's, unfortunately, almost a troy ounce of silver right now if you factor in the spot price plus the premium. Or I can take that $20, $40 to a coin shop and maybe get a small handful of 90% junk constitutional silver. Carries a little bit lower of a premium. Or I could do whatever I want with it. It's just saved currency. It's more self-reliant. And in my opinion, it's a whole lot better. And today's video, I wanted to talk about that because I thought it was strategic. I thought it was a good thing to talk about because anybody who's stacking silver and gold, I'm pretty sure their number one priority is to save money. The silver right here, every coin rounded bar you see, the Aztec calendar right here, the Kraken, the one ounce bars, the 10 ounce bars, the five ounce bars, the 90%, the Queen's Beast, the other miscellaneous coins, the Libertad, Maple Leafs, and a couple others on screen. This is just my physical at-home savings account. That's how I view it. Obviously, there are some differences between this right here and a savings account at the bank. This one, I believe, pays better interest. But the point of a savings account is to save your money, preserve your wealth for the long term. This right here I believe acts as a hedge against inflation. Savings account and the interest that you earn on it, it loses to inflation. Inflation is a lot bigger than 0.001% or whatever the bank is offering. Not to belittle the bank. If you have a savings account, nothing wrong with that. Well, actually, there's a couple things wrong with that. But it is important to save your money and preserve it for the long run. So why just simply convert your dollars into silver or gold to save money. Why not reduce your expenses as well? Why not cut back on things that you don't need to buy? Why not do a little bit more on your own? Why not become a little bit more self-reliant, self-sufficient, self-disciplined so that you're spending less cash so that you have even more cash so you can convert it into even more money. That's what I was thinking about today. And I thought that this would make for a pretty interesting video. And I'm very curious, everybody watching this right now, have you cut back on any unnecessary expenses? I've gotten comments several times over the years saying that they're thankful for silver because silver and gold have helped them become less of a reckless spender. It helped them escape obsessive consumerism. It helped them get away from recklessly burning through their cash. The cash that was given to them in exchange for their time, their most valuable asset. Your time, that's your most valuable asset. That is number one. Forget the silver. Forget the gold. I could lose all my silver, all my gold today. And guess what? I can go back to work tomorrow and start getting some cash so I can start getting some silver again. If you lose your money, you can always get more. Even if you have to start from scratch. There's nothing in the world you can do to get your time back. You can find $5 on the ground. You will never find five minutes. You could buy a watch, but you can't buy time. But when it comes to the silver and the gold, it's almost made me realize that it's somewhat of a way of buying my time back. And I love spending my cash on things that will save me cash in the long run, such as the water purification system. I love converting my cash into actual money, real, true, honest money. It's constitutionally recognized as money. It's biblically recognized as money. It's internationally recognized as money. This is real, true, honest money. And you can also invest a little bit of your cash as well into potentially a cash-producing asset. And the way I see it, if I stick with doing a little bit of those three things, spending my cash on things that will save me cash, converting my cash into actual money to protect my wealth, and investing in things that will produce more cash, call me crazy. 
I think that's buying my time back. And that's the way that I'm going to continue doing things. I'm going to keep running with this because it's something that I have found to work. It's working for me and I love doing the way that I'm doing it. Every time I get a little bit of silver, whether I'm ordering something online or whether I'm stopping by the local coin shop, every time I add a little bit of silver to the stack, it makes me feel like buying just a little bit of my time back. The time that I sold, the time that just went right out the window in exchange for currency, not even money, currency, fiat, fake dollar bills, depreciating pieces of paper, glorified IOU debt notes. That's what I'm selling my time for? So if I can trade those away for real, true, honest money, legitimate wealth, then that's just what I'm going to do. Also, by the way, let me just say this just because I have to. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice. Do your own research. Form your own opinions. Make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. Again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. How do you feel about trading your dollar bills for silver and gold? Do you see it as a conversion? Do you see it as a way of preserving your wealth for the long term? But also, do you see it as a way of almost, maybe not exactly, but as close to it as possible, buying your time back. Is that something that you've ever thought of before? Is that something that you've ever considered? Or is that something that's crossed your mind? Is that a way that you see it? Or do you think I'm crazy, stupid, and shouldn't make videos anymore? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and saving currency so that you can get more precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,700 and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on my way of viewing the money and the currency and our time and our wealth, trading our time away, selling our time by the hour, by the year, and in exchange, we're given glorified IOU debt notes which depreciate in value. We trade our most valuable asset away for something that was man-made and only has value because we're told that it has value, which there's not a whole lot we can do about that. But we can cut back on expenses. We can reduce the amount of cash that we have to go and spend, become a little bit more self-disciplined, a little bit more self-reliant, save some cash... That way we have a little bit more cash left over to trade for silver, to trade for gold. We can trade 
some of those fake fiat IOU notes for real, true, honest money. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare sound smiling. Peace.